are Jing Li, I'm artist. Today, we continue to talk about feng shui in art. Now it's a spring. Spring is a booming season. I like it very much. In spring, normally there are lots of art exhibitions. In my art exhibitions, many audience ask me, what is a good type of feng shui art? What is a good style of feng shui art? Okay, today I will talk about good type and style in feng shui art. Okay, now remember, first important thing is the color. Color, what color are lucky? Bright colors. Bright colors can bring you good luck in terms of feng shui because bright colors can make us happier, can bring us good mood. So remember, bright colors are important. So the second important thing is about objects in the art. Okay, now I give you a good example. Look at this painting. So this painting is about spring. Okay, booming springtime. You will see the colors. It's a colorful and it's a bright. Okay, so here is the focus object. It's a cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms means hopes. Cherry blossoms is the symbol of spring. Okay, so it means you have lots of hopes, nice wishes in the year. Okay, so the second object in this painting is the boats. Boats and ships means luck, good things in feng shui. So boats bring good luck to us. Ships bring good things to us. It should always come to us. It's not go to another direction. Go to us. Okay, this direction is very important. So in this painting, we have two boats. Both boats come to us. The third object is a beautiful blue water. Water means money. Okay, so in total, this painting brings us good hopes, good wishes, money, and good things, good lucks. Okay, so in artistic point of view, so this painting also very, very beautiful, harmonic, positioning, everything is perfect. Okay. Now, I give you the second example about good type of feng shui painting. Look at this one. I think many friends know that. That is the Great Wall in China. Yes. Great Wall is the symbol of China. It's strong. It's a positive. It's a powerful. Okay? So you see, I use the golden colors for this great wall. So the great wall means powerful things, powerful energies, powerful life for you. In the background, you see the mountains. This mountain is not normal mountain because I paint the highest mountain, the famous mountain in Europe, Mont Blanc. Okay, why? Because the background mountains means the backing, a strong support for you life, for you everything. Okay, so that's why I paint this very strong highest mountain in Europe. So I put two symbols of two regions, two symbols of the two regions, one Europe, one China, in one painting. Can you image? how strong energy from these paintings, okay? Except the mountain and the great wall, 
You can also see here, this area, there are lots of clothes. Clothes means luck. Lucky things in our life. So you see powerful great wall and strong mountains plus very lucky clothes. In general, this painting is really good feng shui painting. Okay, so you look the overview of this, pain, this painting. So this is a great panorama, magnific magnificent uh, view. So that means great view, great panorama means your great future, your big goal in your life. Okay, so this painting really supports you to achieve the big goal of your life. You have huge opportunities in your life. You can realize everything you want in your life. Okay, so this painting is good for your living room or office or company because the power is very, very strong. Okay, so these paintings you can use for your uh, home, uh, living room, or uh, dining room, or bedroom because it's a harmonic landscape. Okay, so today we talk about good type, good style of feng shui arts. So now I give you some um, negative examples, let you know, okay, those kind of paintings are not uh, good for feng shui, okay? Look at this painting. So this painting made by Google AI, artificial intelligence. <laughs> yes, you see there are very many very strange animals in these paintings. The lines, the form, sometimes bring really the confusion to you. So these kind of paintings are not good feng shui paintings because if you look at such of paintings, you are confused. You feel uh, not uncomfortable, not comfortable, okay? So actually the AI painting before is uh, play this one. This is a very famous painting, yeah, Starry Nights by Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh. Okay, so that is really beautiful painting, I like it, yeah. But this one is, 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 is okay, interesting, but it's not good for feng shui, okay? Oh, animals. Many friends ask me, they like animals. It's nice, but animals, very strong animals like lions or tigers are not good for feng shui, okay? Because they are dangerous, bring dangerous things. To your life okay please avoid very strong or snacks such of animals okay this is also an example this is a famous painting by uh, Edward's monk maybe people uh, many friends know this painting is called the uh, the screen screen Okay, so the meaning you see, oh, a person in the media, uh, in the painting, uh, very scared. He's uh, screaming. Okay, so this painting is not good for, uh, is not good for feng shui. I think you can easily understand. Okay, now you understand what is a good objects. A good type of feng shui painting, you also know, okay, some paintings are not good. You should avoid, yeah, use it because uh, you can buy, you can buy it. Uh, yeah, you can uh, uh, collect such of paintings, but if you show them or hang in your living room, your bedroom, or your, your office, they might bring bad luck to you. Okay, so that is today's topic. What is about good type, good style of feng shui paintings? They can make you or bring you more luck, more good 
positive energies to your life, to your career. Okay, so see you next time. Bye-bye.